Yeah, that's the problem. not firing the uh, the second time. Which means what I need to do... Oh, 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 oh. I'm an idiot. So that fires. then does not fire a second time. So it's not picking up this. But I bet you if I come over here... Which is weird because I disabled the collision on this, so it should not be overlapping at all. <laughs> That's fun. Is the component equal to the mesh? Uh, okay, so hold on. I gotta I gotta read through all this. So slow down for a minute. Uh, okay, Ooh, got it. So the first time when you get the mesh, save that mesh into a variable. Now that that thing the third. So the cast care is valid my mesh variable true add impulse okay so well technically we already did this cast so we wouldn't need to save it to a variable we could actually because it's never actually cleared out is valid. We'll go ahead and run an is valid check afterwards. And if it's not valid, then we'll print string hello. If it is, we'll run this impulse. So it's not that it's not valid, it's that it's straight up not picking up anything. Uh... Okay, so let's try it your way. We'll cut this, cut this, and cut this. Okay. Promote to variable. We'll call this mesh. 
Okay. Uh, other mesh. And I'll want to check if this is specifically overlapping. Because for some reason it's not picking up. at all. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Okay. Okay, so we'll do that. We'll make a copy of this. Boom. Target is other mesh. So let's try this again. Now with more gusto. Okay, now it should be working and it's not. And that's kind of annoying me. It really... So for some reason, it's still registering over here. You saw what? This is very frustrating. See, now this is not working. watching for the uh, for dirty fix well that could work Or Event capsule ragdoll. Now 
And I realize this is a bit obtuse, but I'm going to continue doing it this way. Mostly just to prevent uh, missing out. Get location. Get rotation. Okay. Boom. Set timer by function name. Function name is capsule ragdoll. And we're going to call that at point zero zero eight looping. Oh, hey Snoopy, how's it going? Actually, I get that a lot. Uh, Jack Black and Zach Galifianakis are kind of the two that I get the most. Uh, oh, it's setting the world... Okay, okay, okay. Hold on. Maybe. Oh wait, why am I doing it that way? I could literally just do that. Because I'm running it inside of its own. There we go. That's better. Yeah, it's not perfect, but... So... The problem there, the reason it, it wasn't setting the second time was because I was trying to use other mesh instead of using the actual mesh because this is actually running inside of that other player character um, as its own custom event. So there's no reason to necessarily go and do that. So now it works. And now, not only can we come over here and go boom, and it actually work. But now we can be like, oh, I see a bad guy. And if he had landed inside the base, we would have been able to hit him again. So, not bad. Not bad. Thank you, Katatis. We, we finally got this working. And I'm sorry, uh, Gryffindor gets no points. All points go to Slytherin. So, yeah. <laughs> um... Let's see. Yeah, so this works. Bam. But we are about out of time today for me to do more. Uh... <laughs> Katatis, you never ruin the stream. It was all...